Welcome back to your live with Expresso. I'm, I'm actually just buzzing at the moment, relishing having the opportunity to hang out with South African actor, filmmaker, TV presenter, entrepreneur, Tapela McQuenna, who will be telling us a bit more about his latest business ventures um, during lockdown and beyond that, and how he manages to balance everything and still be a really cool dad. <laughs> because that seems to be, I mentioned that earlier, probably your most important role. I think like, like most guys out there, I can only speak from my perspective, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, but what a magical year because of that. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a beautiful journey, man. Like, I almost, you know, I always say to myself, I don't know what I did with my time before this <laughs> journey of fatherhood. So it's really, really phenomenal. I miss my kids. Yeah. I've been here for, I've been in Cape Town now a week and a half on this film project, but yeah, what's life without them, right? Yeah, it's like, kind of before and after, eh? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It. absolutely. How do you find that balance, you know, as a parent, you've got all of your own ambitions, but also, you know, finding that balance, I know you had that time with your kids during lockdown, yes. but what's, what's your, like, plan going into, back into work mode? Man, like, work one has never stopped. Yeah. You know, it's just that now I'm back onto my project, I'm back in front of the camera, but, you know, I'm of the mind that we all work with the same 24 hours. You know, the billionaire also has the same 24 hours as myself, you know, um, and it's just optimizing on that 24 hours. I have to make the time, you know. Um, thank God for the digital era because I can FaceTime my kids every day. It's all I do. I think they're over it, but I'm like... <laughs> you I'm need it, yeah. Pick up the phone. Don't put it down. I can't see you. Hold it properly, you know. But um, you find time and you make time, you know. It's what we do with the 24 hours that matters most. I have to run businesses. I have to oversee my businesses. I have to read scripts. I'm leaving here to go straight onto my movie set. That's got to go down. Um, i got to get in some fitness. It's just, what do you do? You make just, it work. You yeah. optimize your 24 hours. And I suppose you live with the sacrifices that you have to make along the way because that's what you've got to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, there, there is a future goal. Let's talk yeah. about some of those businesses right now. Yeah. It's difficult to know where to begin with you at the moment because it feels like every time I get an update from you, I go onto your, your Insta page, there's something new. You're either, you're either on your bike or you're starting a new business. Let's talk about grooming. Yes. Uh, as someone who is very well groomed and is now pushing in the grooming space, the beard's looking good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you. What's your number one grooming tip? For yourself? Um, for myself, you know, um, definitely have, I've got eczema skin condition. Oh, really? So have the products that work for your skin type, one. So understand what skin type you're working with. I'm forced to understand that because, you know, of my work and what I do. But um, I think I'll just maybe talk about the beard. It's quite key to have a good beard wash, a good beard oil and a beard butter. You know, it does a lot for us as men, bearded fellas, beard gang. Um, and that's a space I'm trying to move into next, but that's a story for another day. So okay. I think, if anything, let's take care of our beards, brothers. Yeah, and watch I've, that I've space, man, watch magic. that space. I've always been so fascinated with the beard. So when you, how often do you go through that routine? Probably every day. Every day? Yeah, it's quite a simple routine. It doesn't even take a minute of your time, but look, normally when you shower, You've got a beard wash and you start using that to take care of your beard as a man and the texture of our beards um, is something we haven't understood for a while and how to take care of that so it's quite an interesting journey and my natural gray sometimes needs to be tamed so. hey buddy, but it's also become a part of the look i'm now. not complaining when people book you for a gig they booked the beard but yeah, they booked yeah, the beard you're also a restaurant owner and you've spoken about your your love of cooking now during lockdown yes. have you always been passionate about food and was restauranteering always on the cards absolutely not on the cards really um but as business would have it the the journey of how humans interact you know um has resulted in us opening this restaurant, you know. Good friend of mine, Milan, had this idea to open this amazing restaurant in this amazing location at the Cradle of Humankind in Joburg. I can get much 16th, better. 16th of December, Molitva was born and now we open and it's such an amazing journey for us. I was never a foodie. Um, I still think um, I'm not really a foodie, but I'm conscious of what I eat. Mm. You know, I'm very conscious about how I eat and what I eat. So that has sort of raised the, the consciousness and awareness when it comes to food. And then of course, 
our restaurant is where we express it. Yeah. That, that's our main that. thing. The real you've staff. A, you've got shop. somewhere where you can go and eat Ooh. for free whenever you want. Which is well, and that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think there are a lot of people, you know, sitting here and have been forced with this lockdown to reevaluate how else can I make a business or something that's been on the back burner. Yeah. How can I make that work? For someone that's gone through different business adventures, what what advice can you leave them with, with for today to really just take that chance and start that business? Well, if you don't take that chance and if you don't take that risk, you know, as it's called, you nev you'll never know. You know, you'll never see the other side. So one is we've got to take these ideas that we have in our heads and express them somehow. You know, um, one, one of, of the books I read, there was a line that went something like, there's no such thing as a bad idea. There's bad execution. Mm -hmm. You know, I've focused a lot of what I do on the execution. So yes, we all have great ideas to start great businesses and do great things, but do you... what is your execution plan? So the only thing I really, really advise is that tap into that plan, assess that plan, because that's what's going to determine the outcome. You know, and I think with practice, like I said earlier, you start getting better at executing these ideas and making them come to life. And, and expect to fail and that to become a part of the journey, 100%, man. That's part of it. 100%. I'm going to give you time to think about something because you do wear many hats. And I mean that yeah. literally. You wear yeah, literally. A, hat, a different hat literally every single day. I want you to answer that a little bit. How many hats do you actually own in this world? But Tops is going to stick around. We're going to put him in the kitchen to actually see how much of a foodie he is in just a moment. Stick around.